No more. I can clearly see that the tablet that I was supposed to guard is broken now, so why am I still here? For whom do I keep guarding this desecrated shrine and its lost truth? I thank you for helping me, esteemed sister. Take this. You haven't gained a rest of secret knowledge, but you have still passed the trial and earned your reward. Land of cure moderate wounds. God damn it! What shrines did it, this secret keep? You don't know, okay? Tell me about yourself. Your, my acorn was planted here when I was but a young sprout. Uh -huh. Alright. I don't see a reason to kill him, right? We're chaotic evil, not chaotic stupid. Forwards! No backwards, backwards! I I excuse, please. It's a skeleton. Join the party. What are you doing, Step Dino? I don't know, like Trail. the dino is a little bit weird at times, you know? Was that all? Bad ending. I think we got the bad ending, chat. I think we got the bad ending. Okay, nothing here. Where should we head next? Manage Crusade? Ooh. We have some opportunities here. Frenemies. A conflict between two officers, officers has led to a defeat in a skirmish with demons. One of the officers, a charming young noble, tried saving the lives of the soldier. The other, a cynical veteran mercenary, acted based on the principle that victory is all that matters. The soldiers from each unit blame the other unit's officer for the defeat. How should investigators arbitrate the gilded parties? Uh, round them all up and send them to the sapping machine over there in, in Blackwater. Is that an option? Okay. Uh, we get leadership. We get morale. Finance. Recruitment growth. Nah. Let's get leadership. Y'all know better. Both officers took part in his quarrel, and thus they were both responsible. That's uh, that's a lot of decrees. That is a lot of decrees. Is there something we, we can do here? No, that's a dead end. Is there some way of knowing like which of these paths are accessible to our generals? I think we've covered everything out here. No. So these guys join up. And these guys can maybe recruit something? Yep. Ooh, we need more logistic points. That. Well, we've been out here. We have not been here yet or here. Is it faster to teleport to Dresden, get rid of the corruption, and then run down here, maybe? Yeah, let's uh, let's portal to to Dresden.
Let's also fix... Actually, were we? I think we were supposed to try dropping Kami out of the party. Yeah, let's enter Dresden for a bit. Hello? House of Death. Okay. What is this outcast? Hey, Aria. There is an unusual spring in the succubus's steps today, and she has a mysterious smile on her lips that she can't recall seeing before. Oh, Desna, something truly miraculous happened to me. If only you knew. Oh, is this, uh, is this like Quachen time? Uh, what's it, what's it called? Uh, wordlessly raise a brow. I used to, and now I'm, no, wait, it doesn't feel like, look, I'm, uh, what, sorry, it, I uh, shouldn't have barged in like that. We need to talk on 101. I've been waiting for you at the tavern. Oh my. She runs off without giving you a chance to say another word. All right. Uh, that, that, that just happened. So let's quickly just, uh, oops, not do that. Who would we take instead of Cammy? Like, what role is she filling? She is lockpicker. We'd have to rely on Aru for that. She also has lore for um, doing doing the ward, and then she's kind of buffer because her spells last a hecking long time, and Darren doesn't have the buffs that Kami can provide. I think. Also, we should definitely set these things up. Hmm. Heal. Cure serious wounds mass. That's also a serious spell. Heal is good though. Yeah, let's take a heal. Legendary proportions. That guy is ripped. Using communal. Ooh. Oh, that costs diamond dust though. Ooh, that's expensive. Yikes. Okay, where is remove blindness? Need one more of those. Blindness? No. Remove blindness. There we go. Uh, let's skip some of these for the remove blindness for now. I guess we're gonna have to keep her for a little bit longer. Okay, let's see about stuff. Let's actually just go sell a bunch. You know what, maybe we just take everything in the weapon department and then we go have a field day at, at the merchant. Same thing here. There's a collect all button. But I bet you that takes everything from the chest. Like other stuff that we dumped there too. In? Uh, can we trade with the innkeeper? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Uh, let's go to the streets first.
think we have a wonder like down here somewhere. Road calls me. I'll take the bait. Right, first of all, click that button. Then let's sort these by price. Cheapest first. Yeah, let's just get rid of any trash here. We're both code. Ah, oh, not great. Don't need that. Eh. Nah, it's really worth it. It's a decent uh, quarter set for a caster because it buffs the DC. Oh, only against will savings. That's kind of specific. This one we should not sell. That's for certain. Anything that's just like straight up plus one. And most likely go. Okay, then what about the armor ish? I think we can sell that for fifty six K. Is there any use for this? Or is it just like a, a did you just get like kick W'd in there? Yeah, I'm never gonna use this. Worth a zero. Okay. Okay. Okay game. Alright then. Okay, what's weighing us down? I think that'll be good for now. We've lightened our, our burden. And then to the tavern. To talk to um, Aru. Move. See what she was all about. Never seen Arushel looking so happy and inspired. She gives you a wide smile. 
Here you are. I can't wait to share my joy with you. Okay, what are we gonna be gossiping about? Uh huh. Uh, what do you want to tell me? Remember I told you about Desna lending, leading me onto the path of redemption? I was trying to mock her by corrupting the dreams of mortals and a great dreamer couldn't tolerate that. She ruined my game and made me spend what seemed like a whole eternity in her realm. I had a lot of time to reflect on my past misdeeds. And when the goddess saw that I had repented, she decided to let me go. I still vividly remember her parting words. And what do you dream about? Uh -huh. This riddle weighed on my mind for many years. Demons do not dream when they sleep. We don't dream, have dreams at all. We have desires and we act on those desires, no matter the cost. How was I supposed to find something to dream about? I have been observing the mortals, trying to understand how it all works, and finally, I had my own dream. Oh, well, I'm happy for you, girl. So many years of hard work, I almost gave up at one point, but here it is. A dream. A real dream of my very own. Um, I want to show it to you. you. Don't mind, do you? Come, I'll take you to my dream. I can't wait for you to see it. Uh-oh. Chat. A part of me feels like we're about to get bamboozled. But that part is also like, if we're gonna bet get bamboozled, it better be, you know, by a uh, sexy sexy boy's waifu. So, yes. The succubus reaches for your hand with burning fingers and the world around you fades as you are carried somewhere far away. It is cool and quiet in our stream. The ground is firm beneath your feet and thin mist curls along the surface. In the soft eerie light emanating from invisible stars you see nothing. As you look around you see nothing and no one except for you and Aro. Nevertheless the succubus is beaming with joy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, I don't like where this is going chat. There it is, my actual dream, my very first one. Is this what mortals see every night? Does it look like your dreams? What do you think? Uh... Ooh. Is this the makeout dimension? I don't know. I don't know, bro. Uh, do we... Do we lie to her? And then she talks to somebody else and finds out. And then she's like, why did you lie to me? And I'm like, Dude, I didn't want to pop your bubble. Or do we like straight up disappoint her, make her sad? Or ignore the question? Why is this place so empty? Empty? I don't know. This is my first dream ever. I didn't know what it, was, what it should be like here. Harry looks around her. Smile face a bit. There's nothing to see right now. Perhaps I was so keen on the idea of having a dream that it made all my other wishes and urges to pale in comparison. Now I have to learn how to dream properly. Aru catches your eye, cocking her head to the side. Tell me, what do you dream about? Oh. Our? Let's be real chat. We're chaotic even. We're here for the power. Right? The commander's title alone gives you a lot of power over your people. But what if you want more? Perhaps a royal title would suit you better. I can picture you in a crown quite well. Suddenly a throne. A royal throne appears before you as if by magic. Look, look! <laughs> now I have a dream as well. And it's not just something I made up. It's so wonderful, sharing a dream with you. Chat, are we being taken are we being taken for a walk behind the barn? Do you like your newfound dreams? They're the most beautiful thing in the world. This world is mine and mine only. It's a bit empty right now, but I'm learning fast. I actually hold some flip floop. I'm getting a little bit like 
she's lost her marvelous vibes. I have to share this dream with you. Oh, Jesus. Did I just flirt with her? Chat, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. It just... My, I, I hadn't even read the, the thing and my finger just clicked. A subtle blush touches the demon's pale skin. Mortals have so many different feelings. Friendship, loyalty, sympathy, even love. They're all so mysterious and beautiful. But one can truly learn anything about them alone. And who would dare share their heart's desires with a predator, predator from the abyss who is unable to reciprocate? Zero Marble Succubus is on brand for this playthrough. <laughs> Look. I, I get nothing. I get nothing. Um... I'm trying to resist chat. I'm trying to resist. I'm weak. Her fingers briefly touch the succubus's heated skin, and she anxiously jerks her hand back. Her eyes shine with fear, hope, and something new, fragile and tender, something that makes her look surprisingly like an embarrassed mortal girl. I will. Okay, things just got spicy. Things just got spicy. Can I take a look around in your dream? Of course. Feel free to do whatever you like. That's why I brought you here after all. Oh my goodness. Mm, you... This way. Okay, and, and is, <laughs> is there any loot in your dream? Ah, <laughs> frantically, I know. <laughs> Wherever my legs carry me. Okay, check check out the thing. But in the throne fills your mind with echoes of a jubilant crowd's voices and whispers of court psychophants. I read that as psychopaths. Which is probably wrong. Yeah. Court psychopaths. I mean, is that even wrong? I don't even know at this point. Let's go back to material planes. You open your eyes. It seems that no time is passed in the real world while you are in Irish dreams. So, that was my dream. I'm happy I was able to show it to you. But it's kind of empty right now. But I know how to remedy that. I need to keep learning from mortals, following in their footsteps until I figure out how to forge my own path. Naturally, I wouldn't even think about breaking someone else's dream, as the goddesses surely wouldn't forgive that. Perhaps I should ask the people of the city. What if they won't talk to me at all? Succubus seems lost in her thoughts for a moment, then she smiles at you again. Is there a chance you could help me once more? Ask the city's people what they dream about. They're more likely to open to you than to me. And now they just follow you silently. They won't even notice me listening in. Okay. Uh... May I ask you a personal question? The kind of questions a mortal might ask a sexibus. You want to talk about sex? <laughs> ask me anything. I'll not keep secrets from you, but I don't expect to hear anything lighthearted or pleasant. Uh... The kiss of a succubus is deadly, isn't it? Just a kiss any caress of any kind sucks the life from mortals, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yikes. Maybe we're gonna be careful on, 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 on the romancing front. Um, Arush, Aru touches her lips ever so slightly. For mortals, tenderness is tenderness and violence is violence. But I don't know what it's like to kiss and not inflict pain. I just hope my observations of mortals will help me understand. Young lovers, old spouses, even what mortals condemn as promiscuity, to me it all looks like something amazingly human. 
Have I muted? No. I have not muted. Reload? Twitch had a thing. Uh, we, we, we okay there? I mean, I, I can see my microphone moving. I mean, if your microphone is moving. Um. Wait, you mean you don't just watch people during the day out in the street? I never touch anyone, I never harm anyone, I just watch and listen. Is that bad? That is not bad, just don't get caught. I can promise you that. She smiles. Still no sound? Oh man. Okay. Um, I'm gonna reload re real quick. 